Okay. Um, as I told you today, we will work on topic 14 and then topic 16 in another video. So you will find two videos uploaded on the YouTube channel. Um, just in case, if you want to refer back to one of the videos in order to focus on um, all of the basic information. Throughout the explanation, I will give you the hints or the different style of questions that we might face on those topics. Topic 14, we will talk um, about uh, coordination and response. So we need to study coordination and response in plants and in animals as well. Okay. Um, let's start with sensitivity or the definition of sensitivity. Before um, going to this point, which is the starting point of the course, let me define sensitivity with you. If it is two marks question, guys, we have to, to say, number one, it is the ability to detect, then response. The, using two verbs like detect and response in this definition will give you the two marks directly. You can write any English after that. So you should write the ability to detect any change or instead of change internal or external environmental change, we can write stimuli or stimulus, singular and plural, it is the same. In order to respond, um, to protect your body, for example, but I want you to write to respond to this change. So today we will work on the application of this. We took the definition of sensitivity in topic one when we were talking about features of living things. Now we need to apply this. How does an organism uh, respond to a stimulus? Definitely we have different types of organisms. The first one, plant, uh, the ability to grow towards the light is a kind of response. The ability of swim to the light, it's a kind of respond to specific stimuli. And here, stimuli is the light, and here, stimuli is the light, and here, stimuli is the light, or stimulus is the light, because stimulus is the singular word. The response happened from different living organisms, Plants, euglena in front of us, cockroaches, um, all of this response um, will definitely uh, happen for a certain reason. Cockroach, for example, cannot live in extreme temperature or extreme um, um, heat or extreme hot climate. That's why it will move away from light. Euglena, for example, uh, swim in order to carry out photosynthesis, so it will swim towards the light. And plants also grow towards the light to carry out the photosynthesis process. What is the role of the nervous system in our body? The nervous system in our body, and as I told you in the class, coordinates should be implemented in the answer. The nervous system regulates, coordinates the body responses. It, co it regulates all of the body functions. You will, the probability of having a question like this in the exam is really rare, but I want you, Habaibi, to focus on the words or the verbs that we are using. If I'm talking about sensitivity, I have to use a stimuli, and response. I have to use detect and response. If I'm talking about nervous system, I have to use regulates and coordinates. As you know well, the central nervous system is the main core in this topic, and it's made up of spinal uh, cord and all of the um, uh, brain cells or nerve cells in the brain. If he asked you, what's meant by sense organs, Yamaya? If I told you what's meant by sense organs, I have to mention that it is a group of receptor cells. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, if you want, fine. If you want to um, join the online session from your uh, study room, fine. If you want, if you want to stay here, most welcome. Do whatever you want. I, I, I'm happy with all, but please, please, no problems. Please enter the meeting, okay? Yeah, okay. 
So this will help the body to adjust rapidly to any change to the environment and enable various uh, parts of um, the body to coordinate with one another quickly. In here, we have to focus because as you felt from the early beginning, all what we mentioned, we can consider this as a general information. Um, I'm not keeping the slide of objectives, guys, but this is your slide. When you finish the uh, studying process or overview of all of these slides, you have to draw your concept mapping, you have to draw your mind mapping, um, and um, you have to go back for the objectives. As you know well, I think it's a bit late to mention this, all of the objectives are the objectives from CIE specification. So it's not my objectives to be delivered. What are the components of the human nervous system? It, the human nervous system made up of uh, two main parts, central one and peripheral one. We will not talk about the peripheral nervous system. All of the cranial nerves and spinal nerves extended from the central nervous system is the peripheral one, but you will not find any question related to this, honestly. Uh, but the main nervous system or the central nervous system uh, made up of brain and spinal cord. We took the example of um, how the sense organ receives stimuli and how it transmits all of the nerve impulses and how it takes the action or how the action will be taken by the effector. So if you understand this diagram, you will understand every single slide coming. Number one, what's a sense organ? Sense organ is a group of receptor cells responding to specific action or detect and respond to specific action. So it starts with the receptors. Receptors are some nerve cells has an ability to detect any change. So if we have here flame, if we have candle, if we have any unsuitable conditions and your skin or your receptors in your skin detect this change, what will happen? Message will be transmitted through the sensory neuron and it reach the central nervous system. Here, guys, you have to mention that the central nervous system regulates and coordinates the function by specific type of neuron, and you know the name of this neuron called relay neuron. So the relay neuron or this type of nerve cell coordinate the action sending the message through the motor neuron to the effector. The effector could be your muscle, your, your gland, any specific part of your body that will respond or will take the action needed. So simply, uh, if he asked you to organize, to arrange, to mention, to write the letters, to do whatever he wants in a question like this, if you know well, Yamaya, that all of the actions will be arranged starting from receptors, then sensory neurons. So number one, receptors here. Then message will be transmitted through sensory neuron to the central nervous system in which we have relay neuron to coordinate the function or to coordinate the action needed. And finally, the effector, which is the muscle or um, the gland, will take the action, um, will be the end point for this. Okay, so very important, as I told you, to implement not less than three scientific terminology, three biological ter terminology in your answer. And honestly, Judy, now we have a lot of terminology. We said receptors, the sensory neuron, relay neuron, central nervous system. So the examiner will realize that you, your answer is really valuable. What are neurons? Neurons are nerve cells simply. We have a display board here for the neurons in the lab. And you, you checked the neurons type. 
but there are some adaptation happened in order to do the function accurately. The sensory neuron, this one, usually Bill Custom has a lateral cell body. So this could give you a mark. Okay, I'm sorry. This could give you a mark because um, in the exam, the sensory neuron uh, will be totally clear and obvious based on the diagram. So in the exam, لو لقيت الدiagram أو لقيت الدrawing, they start from a side within neuron or a nerve cell has the sensory uh, has the lateral cell body like this. And you realize the eyes in the in the message will come in this direction from the receptor here through the sensory neuron, and then in the brain and don't. Ignore this pale baby blue color. It represents the central nervous system, either the brain or the spinal cord. So inside the brain or the spinal cord, we have relay neurons. The relay neuron is really short because there is no need to have a long accent here in the uh, brain or spinal cord. We need the message to be delivered uh, quickly and we need the um, message to be coordinated quickly. And then the motor neuron, this motor neuron is the neuron will take the action or will deliver the action to be taken by the effector. Some students be diamond confused the Adanya. Who is effector or is muscle, yes sir? The effector is the muscle, but the effector could be any other tissue than the muscle, like um, um, tissues, for example, like glands. Uh, uh, to secrete a specific hormone to take uh, um, the action. Um, this is um, an example of the effector. But for the exam, if you wrote effector or muscle, if you have a muscle in the drawing, this will be in all of the neurons. We have tiny junction, and in this tiny ju junction, the uh, neurotransmitters or the chemical substance will transmit the message through this tiny junction. If I draw a circle in this area, in this area we have the synapse or the neurotransmitter. The neurotransmitters in the synapse will be transmitted. So in the exam. What is a synapse or what are synapses? It's a tiny junction between two neurons. Um, and what is the function of this area? This area responsible for transmitted all of the chemical released by the neurons and we named those chemicals neurotransmitters. This slide, this slide is extremely important, and I am expecting to find a question related to synapses in your papers, either by a paper two or paper four, but synapses is um, ex an extremely important part in this slide. Synapses area is, or synaptic area, or synaptic gap, or synaptic cleft in this area. What will happen is that through the axon, we have a lot of neurotransmitters in a vesicle like this. Those are neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters moved in a vesicle like this and fused with the membrane of the presynaptic cell or the presynaptic neuron. So neurotransmitters don't show it chemicals, but within the vesicle, if we move through the axon of the new of the neuron of the presynaptic neuron, then it will be fused with the cell membrane like this. Once the vesicle diffuses, the outlet, خلاص يا دانيا, the neurotransmitters will diffuse in this synaptic area. And now I'm saying diffusing. If you observe three times, because you should mention the process. أوقات حبايبي بتسألوني أنا مش لاقي حاجة تانية عشان أكمبليت الأنسر بتاعتي to take the four marks or the five marks because you described what will happen here. Okay? But honestly, uh, you need to mention uh, something about the diffusion, the diffusion process. 
because all of the chemicals will diffuse from high concentration to low concentration through partially paired middle membrane. High concentration, like a lot of neurotransmitters here, to low concentration in the synaptic cleft or synaptic gap. So we have some protein receptors here will accept all of uh, some of the neurotransmitters. I cannot say all. Some of the neurotransmitters to deliver the message to the relay neuron or the uh, post synaptic neuron. Omar will ask me now, sir, ayuayani active e el answer batati to be out of four marks or to be a perfect one. We should write that neurotransmitters will be transmitted through a synaptic vesicle um, in the axon, and then it will be fused with the synaptic membrane. In the synaptic gap, the fusion process will happen. The movement of neurotransmitters will be from high concentration to low concentration through partially permeable membrane or through synaptic membrane or presynaptic membrane. On the post-synaptic membrane, we have some protein acts as receptors, has a specific shape to be compatible or complementary with the, the uh, neurotransmitters. So it will take some neurotransmitters to be delivered to the um, post-synaptic membrane. Do you have any problem in the process, guys? Am I uh, am I going that fast? Well, it's okay for you all. Could you please reply? Uh, it's okay, Mr. It's okay, fine. It's okay. Okay, great. Great. This is that's nice to be with me for an online session. Okay. How does the nervous system process um, uh, information? How it process the information? I think we have mentioned this and there is no need to talk about this now. Sensation, which is the first part through the receptors, sensory neuron, relay neuron, and finally to the brain or the uh, relay neuron in the spinal cord, and then the message will be delivered to the brain. Hatta ya uled, lawil the spinal cord how will take action uh, quickly because we need to protect our body against any unfavorable conditions or unsuitable conditions. Lazim the message to ruh lil brain. Law teacher amal action ma students in the class, lazim by any means el principal taraf. Now we have to mention this and we have to say to, to deliver the message to the brain in order to be aware of all of the action taken in the body. Type the action taken pass through a from the brain to the spinal cord, and then a motor neuron will take the message or will deliver the message and effect. Now we'll point the path the spinal cord had lagbatku, no problem at all. You need to mention either a spinal cord brain. No problem to mention both. Here we have some examples of a reflex action. A reflex action, the definition of the reflex action is two marks definition. Reflex action is an immediate response to specific stimulus. And it's rapid and automatic. Rapid or automatic, uh, both are the two features of the involuntary actions in the body. So if he said, um, what are the main features of the reflex action? You can say it's rapid, automatic, and um, it is an immediate response to specific stimulus. Okay? Um, in front of us, two examples of the cranial reflexes and the example or the pupil reflex and the spinal reflexes um, controlled by the spinal cord. The cranial reflexes or the pupil reflexes by being constricted or dilated, controlled by the brain. And this is involuntary action. You cannot control to keep your pupil dilated if you have... Um, um, right area because this is to protect the inner structure or the internal part of the retina in the body. What happens when your hand touches a hot object? I think if this question came in the exam, it will be a gifted question out of five marks. 
because you will apply what we mentioned in the previous slide. You will take the five marks easily, then you will go to the next question. Number one, receptors will definitely detect that there is a heat here. Impulses will produce, so it will be transferred through or transmitted through the sensory neuron. And if you observed the body is lateral body here and the relay neuron after will coordinate and take the action or coordinate and regulate the action needed and finally the spinal cord deliver the uh, message or transmit the message through the motor neuron to the effector. So here, Judy, you can say effector or muscle because the action will be taken by the muscle structure. Okay. And in another diagram, in the presentation, I added all of the diagrams um, that you might face by the end of year exams. This is another diagram. Uh, I don't want anyone to say, Rabbinai Samhak, uh, Sir Raphael, because you did not show us this kind of diagrams. All of the diagrams are in, so um, there's no need to talk about this slide now. Um, this question also is extremely important. The difference between reflex action and voluntary action. The reflex action happens automatically under uh, conscious control, not under conscious control, sorry, but the voluntary action, you will decide to attend the meeting, you will decide to study, you will decide to sleep, you will decide to eat or not, you will decide this is called voluntary action according to your will, and it's somehow slower than reflex action. Uh, on the other side, the um, uh, reflex action is automatic and it is rapid action, uh, the impulses will be produced by receptors, but here the impulses will be produced by the brain. It makes sense, Yomna, because your brain will give you the order to sleep now or to study now or to eat now. So the impulses or the message will be transmitted, will be produced by the brain and transmitted through the neurons. Let's guy. Uh, using an example, distinguish between a stimulus and response. So, what do you think, Aiz uh, Osama? What do you think? By using an example, could could you please distinguish between stimulus and response? Yes, Mister. Of course. Yeah. Uh, for example, if there is a nail in the ground. If uh, the nail is a, stim is a stimulus because it uh, it's the one that forces uh, it causes the body to take an action against it. So if someone steps on the nail, then the nail is the stimulus, and the response will come from the body where he will move his foot away from the nail so that he doesn't hurt his foot. So okay. that's the response. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, Maya, what are the components of the nervous system? Um, the main parts, the components, it means the main parts of the, the nervous system. The central? The central? Um, the peripheral nervous system. And the central nervous system no. made up of brain? Brain affected? <clears throat> no, the brain and the spinal cord. I'm not talking about the message or about the transmission of uh, signals. Uh, I'm talking about the main parts of the nervous system. I read the question well so you will answer accurately because I know well that you know the answer of this. Okay? So, Daniel, state the names of three kinds of neurons. What uh, are the sensory names? neuron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. perfect. <laughs> Maybe. And? Sensory neuron. Yes. Motor neuron. Yes. 
relay relay in the brain we have relay neuron perfect okay so um since organ definitely we will talk about the eye structure um I'm giving you here an example, and I think we took this slide, or last time you saw this slide was in year two or year three maximum. When we are talking about sense organs, we have two eyes, so we can see. But uh, here we realize that, that uh, the eye has receptor cells that respond to light. Nose has receptor cells, so respond to uh, smell chemicals. Tongue has receptor cells, so you can respond to specific chemicals in order to test. Ear and skin are the same. Um, then we took an example, which is the typical structure of the eye. The eye is the sense organ responsible for light. On this slide, I want you to check this part only, okay? Uh, we have the external uh, parts of the eye. We have the upper eyelid. We have this um, sclera, which is the white part of the eye, and it's covered with an area called conjunctiva, and this is definitely for protection. Um, we have lower eyelid pupil and tear glands with eyelashes. There is no need to study this. I think we have a lot of things in this slide you need to, to study and um, memorize. Okay? Take a look on the names. Um, and start clockwise or anti-clockwise. I'm sorry. Start anti-clockwise. Start, starting from the um, uh, pupil. Okay, just take a look on the names in front of you and I will clarify every single structure now. So we started with the pupil, cornea, the eyelashes already we mentioned, uh, iris, we cannot ignore the types of muscles in the iris, the radial muscle and the circular muscles. I will talk about this in details uh, in uh, the upcoming slides. Suspensory ligaments. So consider this slide, Yaulet, this rafna, how to pronounce and how to memorize all of the structures in the eye. Okay. Suspensory ligaments, celery muscle, a body or celery muscle. So if you wrote muscle or body, it will be perfect. Um, choroid and rectus muscles, no need to know them. Uh, but I will talk about them uh, later, no problem. Sclera, which is the protection part and the point of attachment for all structures in the eye. Vetrous chamber or vetrous humor, and this is the part that contains transparent liquid in the eye to keep the eye in this spherical shape. Fovea, and this area accepts all of the light rays after Refraction, okay. The blind spot here, وأبوس إيديكو ما حدش يتلخبط between the fovea and the blind spot. And this is the optic nerve to transmit all of the electrical signals from the retina to the brain. And this is the retina, the white layer. The lens is here, and the conjunctiva is this part. And this is the iris, as we said, okay? Um, we have vetrous humor and we have aqueous uh, chamber, the aqueous chamber from the name containing some fluids as well in order. This should be transparent at all. And this is for um, uh, transmitting the light in this field from um, the atmosphere uh, through the eye structure and to keep the eye in this fixed position or fixed shape.
there are some photoreceptors in the retina. عشان ما تتلخبطوش. الريتنا دي يا ولاد هي السنسوري بارت اللي بتأكسبت كل اللايت رايز. كل اللايت مسجز. So it contains a lot of receptors. Receptors دول are rods and cones. So rods responsible for detecting light intensity. Cones for detecting color change. So we have rods and cones in the retina, and both have different functions. Rods to detect different light intensity, the different wavelength of the lights, and cones to detect some um, uh, color wavelength, so it will detect up to millions of colors. Imagine, our eyes can detect up to 8 million colors. تفرق بين البينك والبودر والبينك الثقيل والبينك الخفيف احنا بالنسبه لنا كلها احمر مش بينك حتى بالنسبه للولاد بس ان ويز يعني الايز بتقدر سبحان الله تو ديتكت ديفرنت كلرز طيب المسج افتر ذا ديتكشن ويل بي ديليفرد ازاي يا مايا سيم سيكونس same sequence from the receptors to the uh, first from the, um, the sensory neuron to the receptors and this is the direction of light and then the photoreceptors will change the message to the uh, electrical messages or the retina will do this to the electrical messages or electrical impulses and all the electrical impulses will be transmitted through optic nerve to the brain and in order to see. Okay? We mentioned about and roads uh, and this is the reflex. All of I want you to know that in bright light, the light intensity is extremely high, and the eyes will respond because eyes is a muscular structure. When it responds, it responded, it will make the pupil smaller, and this reduces the amount of light entering the eye. How can um, um, the, this? Uh, how could this happen? There are two types of muscles, radial and uh, circular muscles. And we will see this in the next slide directly. In the light, same types of muscles will coordinate, will work together in order to um, just widen the pupil and to make it dilated. Widen will be accepted in the exam, dilated will be accepted, accepted, but I don't appreciate the word, using the word like, became smaller, became larger, okay? This is a very primitive English. I want you to use either wider or to use dilated, to use became narrower or constricted. This is added value to your end. In bright light, what will happen that all of these circular muscle, and this is the circular muscle, if it go directly the circles, okay, all of this are examples of the circular muscles. A circular muscle will contract and the radial muscle relax. When the circular muscle contracts, what will happen is that the pupil became uh, not okay. So um, that this will protect definitely. This will protect the inner parts of the eye. In dim light, the opposite process will happen. The radial muscle. 
contract and the uh, circular muscle of the arm is relaxed. So in the exam, if it is three marks question, you realize that you can take the three marks if you know this. If it is four marks question, how could we add something else? We should add that in number four here, it will protect your head. Uh, um, the fourth point we should have to protect the inner structure of the eye because if you observe the very now he said this reduces the amount of light entering the eye by Meshi, okay fine shukran after reducing the uh, after reduction the ill benefits of this to protect the inner structure of the eye. Okay? In dim light, we need to increase the amount of light. I will be to allow more light to enter the eye in order to see. Okay? So, the answer to the question that had a four mark this is the example of the message Yamaya. That's what you mentioned in the transmission of electrical signals. We can apply this on the eye and eye structure. Full of numbers, how message are how all messages are transmitted. Light rays, receptors, the sensory neurons transmit the message through the optic nerve to the brain and the relay neuron will coordinate and regulate, then the message will be transmitted through the motor neuron to the iris and the iris will give that in control. The iris has an effector or not? It's an effector definitely because this is an iris muscle. Okay, the iris muscle, a muscular structure, so iris muscle in and so that way, if he asked you to list or to describe, yeah, I is very clear, I is explained. So this would be the matter. Um, this is another practice question. Omar, outline the processes that take place in the pupil reflex when you leave a brightly lit room and enter a dark room. Name the receptor and the effector involved. I want you just to outline so there is no need to explain. Omar, are you in? Yes, sir. Okay, could you please outline the process? Um, the, the pupil uh, uh, gets uh, larger. Okay, but you started from the end results. I think you need to talk about the effect on the iris muscles itself. Okay, and how the eye has a lot of receptors, so it will sense change in light because it's telling you from brightly, brightly into a dark room. Is there like a receptor for the eye specifically? Uh, definitely, definitely in the retina, we have a lot of the receptor cells. No, it doesn't have a name. Me? No, 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 you can say receptors. Definitely, the uh, roots and cones of the receptors are retina. But see, when I'm telling you online, you can write receptors as well. So I can say the receptors uh, can sense change in uh, light yes. intensity. Perfect, perfect. And so, um, yes. What happens? Sensory neuron. Uh, sensory neuron uh, in the optic nerve transmits impulses to the brain. Yes, definitely it transmit the impulses to the brain. In the brain, we have uh, the relay neurons. Okay. And the message will be delivered through the motor, uh, motor, motor neuron and the effector in the eyes in order to be either narrower or wider constricted or dilated on the question and definitely here it will be dilated because we want to see. Okay? okay. This is not the eye accommodation. In the eye accommodation, I'm telling you what are the changes happen um, in the um, dark and in the, um, uh, sorry, in the, when we have a uh, distant object, 
and when we have the nearby object. I mentioned or supplement party Rania, yani that mainly our party Tana, we have to expect a lot of questions in. Wahid and Zekri Habaibi, please, please, please listen to make sure in the supplement or the extended part of that Maya and Hafsu Maya in the Fatmu get them because you have to definitely expect in the percentage of questions that are extremely higher for the supplement part, not for the core part of year nine. Fine. This is a diagram to show you if we have an object like an eye, for example, how the image form and um, on the retina of the eye. Okay. Uh, light rays will be reflected, refracted. Refracted it means, and you talk this in physics. Refracted means that movement of light rays from or in between two different mediums. Okay, we have here aqueous tumor, so we have liquids, and this is the atmospheric air, so movement will be from the um, air to the uh, liquid part, so it is two different densities. Number two, lens causes this refraction, and rays should be accepted here on the retina. In a specific area called the phobia. What will happen after? Message will be taken to um, the brain or to the relay urine through the optic nerve, and definitely the image will be totally clear, clear by translating this image. Okay? This is the most important slide in the eye structure, the most important part. Um, how we are focusing or accommodation uh, different parts or the, the eye accommodation, how it works, so the adjustment of all of the eye parts in order to see a clear image. Focusing on a distant object happens mainly in seven or six steps. Six steps. I can say six steps. Okay. Uh, let's start by the first step. And that's what I want you to write. Okay. In the exam, that's what I want you to write. Um, six points directly in front of you at home. Okay. Number one, if the distance is really far, okay, if we have, uh, if, sorry, if the object is really far, so rays from a distant object coming, rays of light from a distant object came in a parallel rays, parallel force. Well, how equal difference being a distant object well, nearby objects? The distant object, the cellular muscles relax. And when the cellular muscles relax, those are the cellular muscles or cellular part. When it relaxes, it pulls the suspensory ligaments. So this will change the shape of the lens and it will be thinner or flatter. When cellular muscles relax, what will happen is that the suspensory ligaments will become um, taut or become um, tightened, okay, pulled, and this will uh, definitely uh, pull the lens from the two edges and make it really thinner or less convex lens. Let me call less convex lens. A light rays will pass through this and we let the uh, the light rays focus on the fovea on the retina, okay? Because the focal length, which is the distance between um, the um, lens and the 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 fovea on the retina, will be more. Imagine, Imagine with me, Omar, the lens D. 
ثيك اكتر مش الديستنس او الفوك لانس دي اللي من اللانس للاترن للدراكنا ويل بي شورتر ات ويل بي لس لكن اف اي هاف ثينر وان ات ويل بي ديفينتلي ديفينتلي ات ويل بي مور اوكي الديستنس دي ويل بي اكتر وهو ده اللي احنا عايزينه عشان يهلب اس تو فوكس اول اوف ذا لايت ريز اون ذا فوك خلاص الرايت اللايت ريز يا دانيال بقت على الفوبيا وات ويل هابن از ان النيرف امبالسز تاخد اللايت وتبدا نتكلم بنفس السيكونس اجين النيرف امبالسز ويل بي ترانسليتد ثرو ذا اوبتيك نيرف تو ذا برين اند ذيس ويل ميك ذا ايمج ترانسليتد ريلي كلير مش عايز اتكلم هنا بقى المفروض تقولوا لي تقولوا لي ايه؟ ايوه يا سر الريس فروم النير اوبجيكت بتكون سم هاو دايفرجنت وده اول ديفرنس اوكي هي مش بتيجي بارلل لايك ذس اوكي بتبقى دايفرجنت وبعدين بتفوكس اون الدراكنا ان بتوين اللي انا قلته ده بالفصل ان بتوين بوث انا عندي هنا تو بوينتس ماس I did not talk about the salivary muscles with the suspensory ligaments. The suspensory ligaments will be slack in here. Okay, so it will not pull the lens, so it will be more uh, um, uh, rounded, okay? More convex, more thicker, all of this will be fine. And definitely this will shorten the focal distance and or the focal length uh, but by any means all of this just to control the receiving of the um, light rays uh, accurately on the fovea and هنقدر نكمل نفس الكلام the message will be uh, transmitted through the optic nerve will be translated in the brain and will be definitely Uh, uh, clear if we adjusted this. Uh, that is for the um, uh, the the eye acmedin thing. Okay. Uh, I thought that we were going to take time. Honestly, uh, when I have another session uh, with the, the AS students, so let's go quickly. Get them. Get them. We'll finish topic fourteen. Okay. So I will. Uh, Uh, start working on the second presentation quickly. What do you think, uh, Is it effective? Well, حسيتوا إنه كل ده was fine. وتمام وعارفينه. ممكن أسمع your feedback as usual. Uh, Mister, I think it was yes. really. Uh, I think it it was effective. طيب أنت كنت ناسي حاجات في في التوبيك ده يا ياس يمكن ده فكرة بيا. اه انا انا بس ايه لخبطت في النيون بس خلاص حاجه بسيطه طيب بس دلوقتي بقت لي احنا بقى عايزين نتفق على حاجه احنا وي نيد تو انسر تو بيبر فور اكزامز افري داي معلش انا وذ اول ماي ريسبكت تو اول يور سبجكت ماي بايولوجي بيبر هي اول بيبر فاحنا هنحل تو بيبرز واحده بيبر فور واحده بيبر 6 كل يوم Starting من امتى خليني ابقى جدع معاكم Starting from Tuesday انا عادي العيد وشام من السين بتاعي وكل وشام من السين بتاعكم وانجوي وانبسطوا خدوا البريك بتاعتكم لطيفه وان شاء الله from Tuesday احنا every single day الباست بتاعتنا يا دانيا هتكون كالاتي اونلاين سيشن 1 بيبر 4 1 بيبر 6 مش عايز منكم اكتر من كده لو عملنا ده لحد الاكزام غير كل البيبرز اللي اوريدي احنا وي انسرد ده معناه ان احنا هنحل اب تو 15 او 20 امتحان بس في الثري ويكس اللي جايين. لكل البيبر. فده فده ده ديل اكوردنج بقى للستادي بلان اللي مشينا عليه او لا اكوردنج اللي احنا متاخرين او لا ده ديل هنتفق عليه تعبان مكسح نايم ميت بتشتغل ده مش مشكلتي احنا هنسلكت اكزام مع بعض بس ليتس سي انه عايز اسامه مثلا هي ديت ذس بيبر بيفور انسر اني بيبر ثانيا اس اف يو فيل لايك سير اي دونت هاف اني ريسورسز كل اللي عندي حليته اقول لك يا حبيبي ابعت لي هبعت لك مور ريسورسز نو بروبلم المهم ان الديل بتاعنا 1 بيبر 4 و 1 بيبر 6 و 1 اونلاين سيشن اون ديلي بيس
ديل عايز اسمع اكو ديل انا موافق ماشي حبيبي ما دام انت موافق يبقى تكون موافق ما دام انت بوت عايز موافقين يبقى اكيد عمر موافق طبعا يا اسطى يبقى اكيد عمر موافق يبقى اكيد داني موافقه ده انا حبيبتي بتاعت البايو كلها انا عارف اكيد موافقه طبعا يا اسطى ماي طبعا بتموت البايو اكيد موافقه يعني مش لازم نمشي ناس ايه 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 Topic only I will not explain. لأن topic ده literally هو بس هنmention اللي إحنا محتاجين نفهمه ونحفظه فيه. هذا مش كلوتة بس فعلاً ال 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 part ال ال أنتوا مش هتحسوا إن أنتوا محتاجين فيه أي حاجة غير أنتوا literally ذكروا. Okay. خلينا ن ن نشارك. Hormones. Um, what are hormones? Hormones are chemical substances produced by a gland, transported by bloodstream, and produced mainly either by ductal glands or ductless um, uh, glands. But um, the main parts of hormones that we are talking about in this topic are hormones produced by uh, ductless glands or the endocrine uh, hormones. Um, the um, hormone that I want you to focus on are the hormones from the hypothalamus, the pituitary glands, kidneys, or uh, I mean the adrenal uh, hormone, or the adrenal glands, uh, the adrenaline, pancreas secretes some hormones, ovaries, um, uh, eggs, uh, testes for male, all of them, okay, are definitely important. Okay. The effect of adrenaline hormone is that the most important hormone that you have um, uh, to uh, focus on. Okay, the effect and the importance. The effects it increases the rate of breathing, it increases the rate of heartbeat, it causes the pupil of the eye to dilate, it increases the rate of blood clotting, and the supplement part. It causes uh, the arteries of the skin uh, and intestines to constrict. It increases the metabolic rates. And please, please don't forget that we um, some hormones uh, stimulate the liver and muscles to convert the glycogen to glucose. What are the importance of this? Those are the actions taken by the hormone. What are the importance of this? This will give you the second mark, Judy. Now you said that the rate of breathing will be uh, uh, will be high. It increases the rate of breathing, but the importance more oxygen can be taken into the body for aerobic respiration uh, because mesh and our rate the rate of breathing will be increased. So mesh, what what are the benefits of this? What are the action taken? Uh, 
Is there anybody be, be, be is the film in that? That's what I want you to check after the therapy. So the hormone replicated replace the blood glucose level. There is another hormone working oppositely to insulin called glucagon hormone. Glucagon hormone increases blood glucose level during Ramadan. We need to maintain the glucose level. So uh, if you have insufficient amount of glucose in your body, glucagon increases uh, blood glucose concentration. Okay, um, next. This is a practice. I want to give you just one minute to read the question, and if you have any problem to answer this or to understand the question, please let me know. If all of the questions is clear, this means that you understand the, you, you understand the concept and definitely you can answer any question related to this. Don't forget that the part of the reproductive system and the hormones involved in the reproductive system is really important, but we will talk about all of those hormones in the... Uh, Okay. Two A. What is the gland that secretes insulin? Pancreas. Pancreas. Um, the gland that produces adrenaline. The name of the gland: adrenal glands. Under what circumstances it is adrenaline secreted under flight or or fight response? Fight or flight response, okay? What are the effects of adrenaline on our body and how does it help you? And the effect is the repeated the line. The comparison is extremely important, the difference between endocrine and nervous control. Of this part of homeostasis is important because in this section we have to understand what is the idea of regulation of blood glucose concentration 
by the liver as by the pancreas. Yes, sir, I'm in the meeting. Why do you tell me mom I'm not in the meeting? Sorry? My, my mom is, uh, sent a message saying I'm not in the meeting. No. No, I did not mention your name. Maybe by mistake? Uh, no. I'm sorry if I mentioned your name. I will listen to the message of them immediately. Communication is the maintenance of a constant internal environment. And in order to do this, we have to respond uh, to some factor and um, to regulate all of the uh, functions. We have a lot of organs helps in homeostasis. It is not only one organ. Skin as an organ helps in homeostasis. Pancreas, liver. A lot of organs help to reach the internal body conditions or to reach stability or maintenance of internal body conditions. Okay? Um, enzymes in the body can only work with a certain range of temperature. That's why if temperature has been rising for any reason, definitely, definitely, this will affect the uh, home state. All of the tissues should keep in a constant or at a constant pH. Okay, you can turn your camera off, your honor, no problem at all because it's hot. Okay, constant pH and water. Okay, um, the uh, water potential. We need constant pH and we need to control the water potential in order to control how the materials move, okay? And how the, uh, some actions will happen, some dramatic actions will happen, okay? If there is a problem uh, in the pH, if we have wrong pH, if we have uh, D, D, uh, if we have pH causing a kind of denature for the inside. Uh, for the water potential as well, the water potential uh, is the is really important because we need a concentration gradient for all kinds of cells in order to move uh, water from high concentration to low concentration through partially permeable membrane. Why does concentration needs to be uh, kept constant? Because um, for some uh, tissues, it will be a harmful effect or severe harmful effect on the tissues if we have high concentration of glucose in the blood or, or rotating throughout the body. So glucose is needed for cell respiration, so it should be inside the cells maintained and controlled by um, Okay, so the mechanism of negative feedback, how we reach the normal conditions, how we return back if uh, an effector, uh, if, if any kind of stimuli uh, detect a specific um, or the sorry, receptors detect specific stimuli and send a message to take an action how this action will be cancelled by another action. So this is the um, homeostasis, and this is called negative feedback. In terms of this, um, I do prefer to check this type before, before this one. I want to check this before this one, because when you understand how little and pancreas working on um, the... Um, Working on the amount of glucose and the amount of uh, glucagon, how it control uh, the amount of glucose and glycogen by controlling this action um, using insulin and glucagon. Plus, definitely you will understand the negative feedback example. So you can write about this. In the mechanism, the level of pancreas, how it controls the um, insulin. Um, uh, secretion and the glucagon secretion to control glucose level. How the Afam Hager will be not the Afam a feedback mechanism directly. Is there a glucose be increased? The insulin will be secreted more. 
ازاي لما الجلوكوز ديكريز الجلايكوجين ويل بي كونفرت تو جلوكوز اندر ذا افكت اوف جلوكاجون هرمون الجلوكاجون هرمون برضو سكريتد فروم البانكرياس ذاتس ديفينتلي انذر تايب اوف موسل <laughs> The um, uh, sweat gland, the hair structure and hair follicle, the blood vessels, the uh, subcutaneous fats or the fat layers, derms and epidermis layers, all the layers the address the device or the recap mic, but in nerve endings, nerve endings the definitely they are the area in here the receptors. Okay, so um, when we Study from the prevention with tech veil structure that involved fill in regulating the body temperature. Another part fill structure that how the blood capillaries with chunk vessel. The chunk vessel vessels the vessels in between the arteries or blood capillaries the arteries of the veins. So those called chunk vessels. The chunk vessels the only has an ability to dilate or constrict. Based on the amount of blood that you want to uh, expose to these cancers, for the sweat glands and the importance of secreting sweat, very important to mention this because this will cool the body. And if you don't cool the body, this will give you a mark definitely. The nerve endings and how it sends the temperature. Okay. So those are thermoregulation. Look at the temperature. How does the body lose heat? The mechanism by the arteries and the passage of blood through the arteries and the veins and the chun vessels. Look at the thickness of the chun vessels. Chun vessels constricts. And strong vessels here dilates. If strong vessels are here, then my question: How does she equate? I was mistaken. The strong vessels here probably hey, average. If I don't have strong vessels here, then I have a huge chance in that I control the size or the not the size, the amount of blood that will pass through the surface of the skin. Okay. More heat is carried to the skin surface if I have constricted chunk vessels. Now, when I have the disease, with the yet disease, and I have more blood will pass through the arteries. If a more blood flow in the skin surface, okay, then let me a private massage. I accept physically, okay. but, but I started, started the meeting with 12 students and I realized that I have seven. Uh, okay. You don't come and attend the session with me if you join, if you join and there is an internet problem. No problem at all. Come and attend the session with me. At least you will listen like I'm here in school. I give you an option. If there is a problem in the internet, definitely come and join me. I'm here in the lab. I, I, at least you will listen. You, you can, can come and sit beside me here to check the presentation. No problem. But you did not use this way of thinking. This is, the, this is my concern. Anyways, no problem at all. Okay. And, and you will submit the exams? Uh, you are in? Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. Okay. If you want. No. Okay. 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 I'm sorry, sorry, guys. guys.
so uh, the shunt vessels here again, the shunt vessels became constricted if we have uh, a high body temperature, so we need more heat loss. And if I have low uh, body temperature, so the shunt vessels will be dilated, so a um, large amount of blood um, will pass through the shunt vessels. مهم قوي يا ان انا افهم الفرق بتاع الجون فيسلز وازاي هي بتكونترول الامونت اوف بلاد عشان اعرف اندرستاند ازاي الهيت ويل ويل بي لوست فروم ذا بودي اف وي هاف هاي بودي تمبرشر مهم قوي يا ولاد برضه ان انا اتشيك السايز او الدايمنشنز اوف الارتريولز والفينيولز ان بوث كيسز اوكي طيب Definitely high hypothalamus and how it detects uh, any change in the body temperature. And the change in the body temperature on will be detected by the high hypothalamus in the brain and the uh, thermal receptors in the Mogudin on the skin surface. Uh, look at the sequence after the session and you will realize that this same way of um, the um, Neuron messages or transmission or transmission of messages through neuron. Okay, same for um, the when the body temperature begins to fall, the message will be sent in the same way, and vasoconstriction will happen, so the body temperature increase. Okay, uh, I think there is no need to revise on this. The oxygen hormone uh, are the plant hormones control the growth either towards light or away from light, towards gravity or away from gravity. That's a lot of investigation. Please, uh, please check all of the investigations because this is a revision session. There is no need to go through the um, investigation again. If is a problem, let me know. All of the provision here or this part is an investigation. The climb state is a, an instrument used in order to study the tropism in the plant. When we have the, this kind of motor rotating all of the uh, seeds and oxygens, definitely the growth will be like that. Uh, horizontal like that without going upward or downward because there is no um, unequal distribution or uneven distribution for the oxygens. Okay. Words. The only thing here that accumulate on one of the sides, but it stimulate the growth of the roots, but it reduce the growth. That if the plant has the ability to bend in one direction. Okay. Or so, don't attack a log. You move upward or downward. I swear to God, all the questions that I to ask you, I'm not familiar with for the exams. I'm not familiar with the presentation. Like, if you remember this question, okay? Was they a guard? We block a oxygen transferred. Was they the uh, area after removing the tip of the plant with the point Mohimawi, less than the figure, and the oxygens produced from the tip of the plant, meaning all parts produced from this part. Okay, then it will diffuse downwards. That's the production of the plant. Okay, I think. Uh, clothes that can uh, uh, more complicated part of the topic for me. Okay, um, I will manage with you the group the time of the meeting, uh, by the end of the day. Do you have any problem with any kind in topic 14? Is there any problem, something, um, still unclear or still hard? Yes, sir. Um, who's talking? Daniel? Yomna. Yomna, okay. Hey, Yomna, what do you prefer? What do you think now? It, it became way better because you yes. asked me several times to revise on topic 14. Yes, it's much better. Fine, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Judy, feel the same? She's with you, right? I think it's uh, better. Okay, okay, okay. Daniel? 
بويز عمر كنت محتاج الريفيجن دي ولا ولا حاسس انه لا انت يو ار بيرفكتلي فاين توبك 14 يس بس انا دي طيب اتس اوكي ات ماي تايم اعمل لك توبك 17 اللي انت عايزه اللي مجهز لك دوت لانه في تو اذر ستودنتس اسك مي تو تو ريفايز اون ذيس توبك از ويل The session at night will be one hour and a half. We will manage to define together uh, on the group. Please, uh, just a second.